welcome back to episode 6 of Shit I Wish I Knew. This episode is dedicated to Yosef that's writing all the way from Italy, had a request for the Nisciotico Violin. So I'm going to go over the basics of island violin, do a little bit of intricacy, a little bit of embellishment, and some of the stylistic stuff that happens there, and then also go over some tips and tricks, some stuff that I figured out along the way. So let's dive right in. So here we have a violin tuned the same way as we would a classical violin. As a matter of fact, this particular instrument is from Austria, it's built in 1776. In order to go over the basics, today I'm going to do a song in A minor. We're going to play the introduction of Armenaki. When we're talking about Nisio de Govioli, we're talking about some of the embellishment, some of the microtonal stuff that happens in there. And I'm going to go over that scale right now. So let's dive right in. Let's get a little bit closer. And I'm going to show you how we're going to play A minor in this style. We have notes. A. B. C. D. E. F sharp. G. A. Now on the way back is when we start throwing a little bit of the microtonal stuff. So... It takes that note from the Usak, from that scale, but it's not exactly an Usak scale. And I'm going to go into why that is and where that little embellishment comes in towards the end of this video. But let's go over the basic introduction to that song. So that's the bare bones skeleton of Armenaki. If we dive into some of the stylistic, some of the embellished uh, portions of it, I'm going to do those in sections to help you out a little bit better. So let's get a close up and we'll start from that first part. So again. Let's do a little bit of a close up there. So let's take all of those pieces, combine them, and see how we'll play it as we would in a normal setting. an example of something that's more intricate but let's dive into tips and tricks a little bit and I'll kind of break down a little bit of what's happening 
in the fingerings and in some of the bowing style. So first tip when we're playing Nisio de Govioli, I like to call these notes arpachtes or something that we you kind of build in and you swipe it in. Okay, so right in the beginning, that first note, that first oomph that gives it that style. So right there. Again, at the end there. So it's smooth, smooth, smooth. Second tip, when we're switching from string to string, I've shown this before in, the, in one of the Lira videos, I also like to do it on violi. It's very synonymous, both of those, both of those styles kind of coincide with each other. So, right here. training with a little bit of proper training it's gonna make this instrument a whole lot easier not only that it's gonna make it easier for you to switch from position to position now it's not mandatory not by any means you can learn of course by ear by listening by watching uh, but best piece of advice is always for the classical instruments to get classically trained it's gonna help you very much in the long run, but let's continue. Tip four, a lot of Nisiotico Violi is visualization. So I hate getting philosophical with it, but imagine you're on the island, imagine you're looking out at the ocean and you'll feel the groove of what we're doing, especially when we're playing Serta. So I'm gonna play a couple different scopus. We'll do Armenaki, we'll do Nasagapoi Dathela, and then a little bit of um, Stonartemona. So all of these songs are in the same register, they're in the same key of A, and they all follow a similar style. So let's dive in. happening in there. Some of those little arpachtes, like I said, keep those in mind when you're when you're practicing Nisio de Govioli. Also, we went over this little passage when we went over clarinet. So those little four notes at the end of a phrase. It's apparent here too. Open D, E, F sharp, G, A. Even further, that's your opening to Cariotico. All 
hablar partes. And all in the same sort of register. So, recap. Remember that little quarter tone at the end of A minor. It's not exactly usak, but it definitely has that little twinge. When we're doing our bow, slow into it. Slow into it. Slow into it. And then, it's just a matter of remembering the flow. It's almost the way that we would sing it. And that's a good way to remember these two. I hope this video helps. All the best to you, Yosef. Thank you very much for watching. Shit I wish I knew. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button. We'll see you next time.